Oh, it feels like yesterday that I made this horrible, horrible illustration of Rick and Morty on my Etch-A-Sketch. I feel like today is the day I redeem myself. Not on the Etch-A-Sketch, no. On the mini Etch-A-Sketch. Oh, it's so cute, look at it. The fact that it's way smaller can only mean it's gonna be easier to use, right? G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today I'm going to be using the world's smallest Etch-A-Sketch. Yes, it actually works. It was only $9.99. Thanks, eBay. I bought both Etch-A-Sketches at the same time, the big one and the tiny one, and I've been too scared to come back and, and do this. <laughs> I feel like enough time has passed that the trauma has subsided, and I'm going to see if I can actually do something worthwhile on this thing. Alright, let's open her up. Oh man, this is like... Sealed with a vice-like grip! Wow. I feel like the, the, the ratio of packet to Etch-A-Sketch is kind of absurd. This is, this is a lot of packet for a little Etch-A-Sketch. This is really tiny. <laughs> so cute though. Uh, let's see if it works, you ready? <laughs> it's so small! Oh, that's what she said. And, oh wait, no, it does work! <gasps> Look at that! You're not gonna be able to see a damn thing! I have to, I have to figure out a way to fill- and it moves a lot too. I have to like, try and pin this to the table. Wait, I have to erase this. How do I- you erase by shaking it. Sort of worked. Cool. Oh my goodness, this is so teeny tiny. So teeny tiny that you can see all the horrible flaws in my nails from biting my fingers. I'm going to try and replicate the piece de resistance that I finished my first and only other Etch-A-Sketch challenge having created. Rick and Morty. I feel like that's uh, an adequate challenge. Oh, I forget what's up and down. That's right, this was so annoying last time. Oh, but, oh wait, no, that was down. Oh no, there's no room for spiky hair. We're just gonna have to keep going. This is more of an interpretive piece. Oh, it goes, meant to go back up. Ah! <laughs> what is happening? We have Morty's, oh no, that was down. And up, and around. <laughs> and that was just my warm up. <sighs> okay, start again. It's, it's too slidey. I spend so much time like anchoring my palms and trying to keep still that I can't actually focus. So I'll be back. I need to go get some vices. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm prepared this time. <laughs> I have two pieces of wood. This is all gonna make sense, trust me. Two pieces of wood. Oh no, that's gonna, oh wait, ah, there we go. There, wait, can I reach in there? Ah, oh, I, I swear, this should come in the instruction manual. See that, now I've got, now I've got finger room. I'm gonna get my vices, all right. Probably not how these are intended to be used. Uh, ah! <laughs> this is how I'm using it, goddammit. Oh, uh, this is so not gonna work. I need some stabilization. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> this should be easier than this. I need a handicap. Maybe the vices are overkill. Okay, I just get it's just you and me. Let's go a simpler way. Let's just use tape on the bottom, stick it down, flip it, and... All right! Ha! <laughs> that sort of worked! <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot! What if, I, what if I stick it from the top as well? What if I go... Let's stick it down. That's actually pretty firm. I admit this might have been a little bit overkill, but... <laughs> It demonstrates how I feel coming up against an Etch-A-Sketch. I feel like Etch-A-Sketches are my Achilles heel. And I feel like I'm trying to use whatever firepower I can get a hold of. Because I, I don't know if I can do anything with, with these things. Okay, let's just start simple. Let's remember the controls. Up and down is the right hand. Left and right is the left hand. Oh no, I have to shake it. <laughs> oh no. Please have to remove it. Shake it. Put it back. All right, let's draw a circle. Okay, left, up, right. Oh no, down! Ah! Oh, I forgot which one was down. Down, left. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. 
that's my circle. <sighs> Looks more like an upside down map of Australia than a circle, but uh, it's something. All right, let's give this a go. Let's go simple. I'm gonna draw an Etch-a-Sketch with my Etch-a-Sketch. Surely that's gonna be easier. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really genuinely angry. Ah, oh, this is not good for my stress levels. I need to be at peace with the process. I need to channel my inner Bob Ross with this mini Etch-a-Sketch, which is not my enemy and will not get the best of me. I'm gonna draw Bob Ross. His artistry will flow through in the illustration. His calming voice will be in my head and we will be able to create something special. Let's make something beautiful. We can do this. I want to get you to try being creative, just to take your time and, and sit down, have nothing in mind when you start. Just have a good feeling and be happy and, and in love with life and your world and, and sit down and begin playing. And if you feel good about yourself and the world, it'll show in your painting and all these little things will happen. That's the name of the game. It's enjoying, really already enjoy what you do in life. And if it doesn't make you happy, you're doing the wrong thing. <sighs> okay, there it is. This is my Bob Ross. Oh no, it shook. It's gone. That's right, I can redeem it. I can make a better piece. In fact, I have the perfect thing in mind. I'm feeling something abstract, emotional, visceral. To accomplish it though, I may need to bring back some of my more heavy duty tools. This is a piece I created with my mini Etch-a-Sketch. I call it The Anguish of Man. And uh, it's something I really invested myself in emotionally. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's funny how sometimes you have to face your inner demons and uh, face the things that you struggle against most to come up with the artworks that you find really speak for you. Now, unfortunately, this is a piece that really can only be created once, and I think that makes it more special. I also know what you're thinking. You're wondering to yourself, why am I bleeding on my nose? See, look at that. That's, that's my blood. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, I can't create an art piece with a friggin' etch -a sketch without hurting myself emotionally or, as it turns out, physically. That is, of course, because when I filmed myself dramatically hitting the uh, etch -a sketch with a sledgehammer, I uh, hit, hit myself in the face <laughs> with a sledgehammer. God damn it! <laughs> it's like even when I'm destroying this thing, the stupid etch -a sketch is like, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. I love that I took all the safety precautions, like I wore my gloves, I wore my goggles and my face mask with the fire and I had the earbuds and I just forgot that last safety tip of not flipping a sledgehammer into your face. <laughs>
Regardless of what you think of how I went about it, I have created true art. I believe that, as you can tell, I have bested the Etch a Sketch, and I think it's pretty clear who won in the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and my artwork and the anguish I went through to create it for you. Uh, that being said, I feel like I feel like I've conquered this medium, and I vow to never touch an etch a sketch for the rest of my days. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to subscribe for more quality content, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.